Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about HTML class attribute. Very, very important, especially when you talk about designing web pages. Today, we are going to learn an equally important attribute called ID. What is ID? What are the different ways we can use IDs with? We'll learn why IDs can be used to manipulate with JavaScript, can be used with CSS. Also, we'll learn some important things about ID attribute. That being said, let's get started. And this is the last episode before we start coding live coding. So in the next episode, you will see me coding live for you, creating live website pages. So I'm excited about that. I hope you too are. Let's get started. This is part 19 of the series. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, make sure that you check them out so that you have continuity in your learning and you master HTML with me end to end. Please refer to the previous episodes if you have missed anything. All right, so today's topic is HTML ID attribute. The HTML ID attribute is used to specify a unique ID for an HTML element. Remember that no two elements can have the same ID in HTML document. That means each element has to have a unique ID as an identifier. Unlike CS, uh, CS, uh, the class attribute, we know that class attribute can be given to multiple elements in the web page. IDs are assigned only to one element at any given web page. It can be used to design CSS. It can be used to uh, access JavaScript via JavaScript to enhance or manipulate the element. I'll show you both variations in the hands-on coding. I hope the theory is clear. Just remember a simple example. Think of a web page as a classroom. There are many students. They all belong to same class. But each student will have a unique identifier. That is a roll number. In our case, it's called an ID. That's a simple analogy I can give you in order to correlate. That being said, enough of talking. Let's get to coding. All right, so this is the page we designed using the classes, right? Now it has three sections that we added. Each is having a same class name. So the look and feel is same. Let me quickly pull up the code. So if you look at the code, we have this section that we have defined. These three sections have the same class names like section info, section title, and section data. So these are three different sections with same classes. That's why the look and feel is same. Important thing to note, we can give the same class name to multiple elements. But with IDs, you have to give unique identifier. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give an ID to this particular section and I'm going to call it professional. You can give any name you want. For this, I'm going to give ID as personal. For this, I'm going to give ID and call it social. So I have given three different IDs for these each of the section. That way, now I have control of these three sections individually based on the IDs. Let me show you how we use that. First, I'm going to show you a variation with the class. That is the styling of elements using ID. Remember, in class, I told you we use the dot operator, right? We use dot in front of the class name. With IDs, we will always use hash hash with IDs okay so you will write hash followed by the name of the ID so in this case I am saying in this web page wherever you will find an ID with name professional apply the font size to be or let's say font type italic okay so I'm saying make the professional as font italic now see here, only this has become italics. Rest everything is as it is, right? So you basically you can override the values by IDs. Not only override, you can assign the value and do much more with it, right? So this is one of the examples of how you will use IDs in styling. Mostly you will use IDs with manipulation with JavaScript. So now let me also show you that quickly. Let we'll write script and I'm just giving an example. I'm saying element document dot get element by ID get the element by the name 
professional and for now don't do anything just console log it now open your developer tools and you will see that that section is captured only that section professional right so that means I have now control to change something about this so let me change something about it and say dot inner HTML is equal to I'm changing the HTML inside that particular section hello from JS right so instead of break I'm going to use it so you can put HTML you can change element you can do whatever you want now see here it got changed from professional to hello from JS right so based on ID right because I'm getting the element using this method which is get element by ID I'm passing the ID and based on that I'm manipulating that element so here are the two use cases that you just saw we will assign unique IDs to the HTML elements right now will it give error if I give same ID to multiple elements certainly not it will not give any error but it will not work properly efficiently styling is same but you see here it will not manipulate something it is only changing the first one right so in course of time in real-time applications you will end up seeing a lot of uh, different behavior in different browsers so always keep the IDs same okay IDs should be unique class name can be reused okay just a quick summary here for you class names can be given to multiple elements ID should always be unique per element remember this this is the keyword okay all right so that being said that's all I have um, about the IDs if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you in the next episode very very interesting we will do some live coding and create a web page beautiful web page with the HTML tags and little bit of CSS whatever we have learned just to give you an idea that how web pages are built I'm sure you're excited me too so see you in the next episode we'll start coding live thank you so much for joining in this episode I'll see you in the next one